me. And like, I want to quit. But then it's just, I get so weak. Right? Yeah. That's the problem. Like, weak is in me that just. Takes your strength, your strength is being used up and maintaining other fit for life. You don't have the extra thing. I mean, I w you could do it. You could do it. It's just hard, and I would do it. Like, pull it off. It's not that hard. You are being a pussy. Like, if you've already gone two days, you, you're so far ahead of every smoker that's smoking today. How about you, though, man? Can we do it together? I smoked like 80 the other fucking day. Um, but I, but I'm work, I'm working out. You got your job. You got all your shit together. Like, I'm trying to like do everything in, in, in a couple of years' time. I'm almost there. Stress is our next stress. I'm not really trying. I just know that it's priority one. As soon as I have the extra willpower to allocate, because like we have, I'm gonna have free will, but it's like very expensive to exercise it. You know, you can have like we have the freedom to bear arms. We don't have the freedom to bear ammunition, bro. You know. I guess we can kind of do this quick, quick, just fucking quick. It'll change your whole life. Like, you never go back if you get past like a week or something or ten days. You'll die in front of your kids, so it's like, like from small smoke if you don't. That's bad. Like you got a good you, get, you love your kids, right? Like quit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I yes. yes. But I'm in the middle yeah. of like the most stressful shit. Like I'm I'm it, my whole life depends on now and it's not that important in the short term. Like I've smoked for thirty fucking years. Like, if I get cancer in the next six months, then so be it. I'm hoping to get a little bit of one time to die of lung cancer, and most of the rest of my body is okay. So, if I can quit within, like, I'm going to be alive 50 years on July 4th, so I'm gonna try, maybe I'll quit that. We'll see. Probably not. Probably not yet. How much do you smoke? What were you smoking before you quit? How much? How much? Uh, it would take me two days to finish the pack. I mean, I like one in a thousand cigarettes of mine. What's your price for it? Uh, it somebody handed me one. I did have a couple of menthols that somebody handed me, but I, I buy my cigarettes from the reservation down the street for $260. And they're just smoking Joe's, red box, hundreds, plain ass. Pretty good though. 250, 260. If I miss the rest. Yeah, they have menthol. They have menthol, but I don't buy them. I could have swore I saw you smoke at a new No, nah, you're breaking up. Yo! Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up, Joe? How you been? Hey, not too bad. Not yeah, too bad. Good to see you around here. Yeah, you too. I hadn't seen you in a while. Yep. I don't have much time in the summer, but I still stop in here and then. Sometimes, like, when I have less time, I'll visit more places, like, just real quick, and... Try, try to find something that's worth wasting some time on instead of just doing it habitually like in the winter. Mm-hmm. How's the weather by you? Great? Yeah, it's very hot, uh, surprisingly. It's like, uh, you don't want to be outside for very long unless you have some shade. What, are you Canadian? Why is it surprising? It's fucking, it's almost... I was just, I was being silly. Oh, yeah, it's uh, not surprising. <laughs> where are you? I'm in uh, the state of Tennessee in the U.S., so uh, kind of towards the south. I guess they typically call this the south. I call it the D.S. Yeah, yeah, the deep south. No, 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 the disintegrated states. Oh. The deep south. <laughs> Tennessee's kind of crazy. Like, I don't know, I, I have some bad thoughts about some of the southern states. Tennessee usually escapes. It's like its own weird thing. It's not like Alabama or something or fucking it's Tennessee. It's got, it's got some flavor. It's got some brains. So, 
from a whole lot of backwards in some areas too. That's where Greg walks from. Unless you are Christian fundamentalist, I guess. What? They, they might like him. I'm a fundamentalist, I'm not a Christian. Greg Block is the guy that was burning the. Oh no, sorry, I said Greg Block. Greg Block is yeah, yeah, yeah. My barber, my barber actually knows his church. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I'm thinking about starting a church. Could be really fun. I mean, why not? Right? Like, our church would be called Shelter, and we'll be like, listen, yeah, we're gonna build amazing churches, and we're gonna like house mad people until we solve this homeless shit. Like, there's so many churches you can start and gain those tax benefits. John Oliver did it. Like, boom, done. Our Lady of Perpetual Exemption. They knew it was a joke, and they still gave him the religious exemptions. It's fucking crazy. Because they kind of have to. Like, there's that much respect. Like, God is such a pussy that he needs all, advantages all over the place from, from the United States. Not, not that we don't have our own problems. Why, are you guys fundamentalists? <laughs> what? Tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> tough sub. Tough sub. Yeah. Actually, tough subs. I uh, can't steal directly from uh, Dr. Evil. Tough subs. <laughs> That's my new one, it's Tough Subs, not Tough Sub. Because a lot of people have seen Gold Member, it's a very, very funny movie. And, uh, Tough Subs. Maybe a little bit of Bitcoin or some Satoshi or something. That's, I mean, a little bit. <laughs> you want to borrow some uh, Satoshis? Yeah, I'm just saying, put my, put my wallet and my address in my, in my profile. Yeah, I'm, 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 do, you use light, do you use Lightning, Jeff Hart? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll use lightning, yeah, I'll take it. Lightning is your fire sounds like some. That's some Aladdin shit. <laughs> Just keep an eye out for that address yeah. in my in my You know, you know that if you buy Bitcoin right now, then it's going to create the thirteen thousand. And uh, if you don't buy Bitcoin right now, what it's going to do is it's going to skyrocket to about seventy thousand. So uh, your choice. That's a little. That sounds a little bit. That sounds a little bit chi. That sounds a little bit chi. <laughs> Yeah. So what about Orbit Coin? You guys in? Don't know what it is. Okay. The, 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 the nodes are all in space. What the fuck? 29 miners in space. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can, yeah. Very cool. So How do they guarantee that the nodes uh, are in space and not like on the ground? I'll get back to you. <laughs> Very cool. I mean, you can see them, first of all. Like, uh, yeah, but like if I'm interacting with a node, like, uh, how do I know that, you know, I send a transaction or whatever, um, how do I know that the nodes that handle my transactions are in space? Well, like, you'll, you'll see the laser coming out of your fucking chimney and tracking oh, the node for two seconds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I get it. I mean, Mirrors and lasers, right? Yeah. The, they, we, oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's all real. If you had to take like 100% stock in Orbit Coin or Rabbit Coin right now, which one? I don't think you're not asking me because I don't know what the other one is at all. Rabbit Coin? Yeah. Well, there's little rabbits and, and each one has a coin and then they fuck and they make baby rabbits. It's for kids. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, do they make new coins too? When they the, babies are, the babies are new coins, yes. I see, I see. Yeah, that sounds like the way it's not anti-inflationary. In fact, that sounds very inflationary. I'm, I'm fine with well, that. Rabbits don't fuck as fast as you think, especially when they're digital and we control their genitals, I guess. Their digitals. <laughs> it is inflationary because we want the kids to spend the money relative. Like, we, we don't. Yeah. Like, we want them to spend it. There's so many, there's, this is the greatest time to ever be alive if you need to make a fortune. Quickly. Anybody trying to make a fortune? I think everybody's trying to make a fortune. I'm doing a terrible fucking job, man. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fuck? I know it's tough for the rest of us, too. Um, what do you think about 4chan cookies? Yeah, why not? Exactly. Do you think, like, regular fortune cookies, trash, right? Like, I'm trying to tell people, some people say they love them, and I, and I want to punch them in the face, because uh, fortune cookies are disgusting, right? What's really messed up is, uh, when I go to the Chinese restaurant that's near me, um, I get these, like, uh, 
crypto advertisements on the fortune cookies. No, oh, no. Really? FTX is advertising. Who else? Maybe AV. Uh, a few others. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not a big 4chan fan though, so uh, like we call them. It's actually the number four and then T U N E fortune fortune cookies. Fortune cookies. Oh, okay. I have I have like fourteen hundred and forty in it. I mean they're like 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 I identify each one uniquely, it's it's not I hate that the reputation. But one great NFT success that wasn't like a scum vicious, scam vicious garbage event would change things. Only Investing in NFT of the ones they like and throwing away the rest, like the, it can it can do brilliant things. Like it's kind of fungible tokens. Um, what do you gain by going to fungible? Like is most <laughs> Well, we, want, we want specific news value, though. We want people to swipe and on, on like, rabbit coin as an idea. Yeah. So they actually have that specific data point. And, and like, just, just, like, I'm hoping to be able to just give people the decks for free and let them play on an app where they just swipe up the right. And they just cut down the deck to what they value. Just that, you know. The goal is not to extract from your customers, but to, but to benefit your investors. There's like mad new shit that we can do. Like my whole life is based on this. Like I'm gonna tell you, if you ever want to give me money or my company, we'll never give you money. Ever, ever. It never happens. Like you'll never. Get you can't spend cash like we can ever. So shut the fuck up. Sounds like maybe what you want to build is an ecosystem. Does that sound right? Yeah, an ecosystem, which is really big and really economy. See, this guy's good. He gets it. Well, I'm the universe. Wait, trying to get a billion dollars from campus. Oh, no, who's that? Yeah, he talks to me. He tries to, who is that? Oh, it's Pax. Oh, yeah. It's fake there. It's galaxy like galaxy, or if you're nasty, phallaxy. But not the phallaxies. Yes, and 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 It is quite <laughs> surprise. I feel surround. I, I feel surrounded. Like who? I'm a, I'm a bit of a pantheist. I mean, a pantheon is my favorite. Parthenon is sick. But, no, Parthenon is amazing, but like the the Pantheon, I like more because it holds a sphere, and it's huge. <laughs> like, and and how they built it was just amazing. And the houses we build are gonna have holes in the top too. We're an Oculus. It's an Oculus. Don't worry. Pax, what's up? Why do you uh, why do you sigh so much when I talk? Oh God! Here we here we go. Yay! Okay. I don't bisexuality packs, so. Let's get another Alex. 
It's a very strange crisis. I um, apparently set my alarm for 2 p.m. today to remind me to do something, but I have absolutely no idea what it was. So I went off like five minutes ago, and I'm just kind of at a loss. Maybe it was to clear your brain of all thoughts. Uh, I'm sure it actually had something that means not knowing, uh, you know, what to do now that it's gone off. So. If actually, so you're, so you're good. <laughs> You seem like you could be perpetu perpetually hyper hyped up, right? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna start talking those behaviors. Like, I'm I'm a manic. <laughs> I'm Germanic. Yeah, I I'm not manic depressive. I'm just manic. He's manic expressive. And the reason I come in here is to make sure that I'm actually tritanic. Like that the tr the tritanium is strong enough to keep me from being sunk by you fucking fucks. Not you. You. People. The royal you. Oh, if we're gonna battle, if we're gonna battle royalty, like we're gonna need badass royalties. Yep. We should. Loyalty. Yeah, battle loyal, battle loyalty. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pull an Alexa move and be like, "Well, you know, it's time for my royalty." Yeah. Don't royalties us. Royal, royalty Rex. That wouldn't please us. Yo, Pax, what do you think about Magaladon? How do you rate things? Sorry, how do you rate things first? How do you rate Ma Magalodon? Yeah. How do you rate things though? Like zero to ten, like an idiot, or do you have your own pack system? <laughs> it's, it's a legitimate question. How do you rate things? So many things that I could rate. Rate, you know. How do you? Meta's intuition. Like, how do you? Now I forgot to think. Um, so it's kind of like different systems for different issues or different things. Actually, <laughs> seems like the obvious answer to give. Yeah. I I just uh, people there there I I just I, I ask a lot of people how do you rate things and I've never gotten a good answer. Just like when I ask what's the most net positive organization in human history, I never get an answer. Nobody has a good rating system, and nobody knows of anything that's that good that stands out above the others. Most sensitive organization in history. That's an interesting question. I mean, there, there are so many of them. There are so many of them, and a lot of them that have done a lot of evil, but also a lot of, like, good, uh, sort of speaking. Yeah, that's hence the net word. <laughs> like, not the gross, the net. It's like, yeah, it's like... It's like, um, you know, people have conversations or debates about the legacy of the Catholic Church, and there's like plenty of things that people can point to that, you know, most people would consider positives that, that the church does. And, and, you know, then there's like the bloody history of the Catholic Church. I mean, shocking, yeah. The fiery history. <laughs> Fire. Fire. I come from Catholics, yeah, I the, mean. There's the state. I should be, I should be at, uh, PAX, we should, I thought we almost broke up. Like, remember when I told you that I promise you're not as smart as you think you are? <laughs> I, thought, I thought we'd broken up. That's funny. Yeah, you guys are used to hanging out, hanging out with people that take, uh, commentary from others over the internet seriously. I'm not one of them, like. Mwah, <laughs> I hear you. What, like, what kind of troll are you? Like, you can troll me, PAX, right? You can <laughs> troll me. <laughs> I control you too, though. Okay. But, you know, it also depends on, you know, I don't always troll, okay? You know? Right, but when you do. Well, okay, I, I do have a habit of uh, befriending uh, outrageous characters, right? Like crazy people. Like, you know, skip. Schizophrenics and whatever. Schizotheopath. <laughs> I invite them to different places. I mean, I think I'm schizo, so. Well, you know, I mean, you guys have spoken to Open Eyes Project before. I don't think so. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, for example, that guy, I used to, uh, I used to take him to servers where, you know, there are people I didn't necessarily like, and I would invite him to voice chat, so. Let all this. 
Yo, yo, how do you feel about what Bar said about you, bro? Who are you, are you, oh, ta you talking to me? You sound. Yarrow, yeah. how do you feel about what Bar said about you? Yarrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he was pretty gay. He was talking about, uh, you, you know, doing gay stuff with me. But aren't you into gay stuff? I guess, man. I'm not, I'm not that gay in her, though. Concrete, what? Like, you know, you agree that the freedom of speech tends you're to be. Just, you're just quasi gay, is that it? Concrete, that means zero. What's going on? Let's see what, man. Get off my nuts, bro. Talking hey. to fucking y'all. Why, so why are you so motivated? We were running the Zoom. We're having a real nice convo about how to rape things. Hey, did you say rape things? How to rape things? Oh, oh, I don't think you can rape things. Like, you can't rape a fleshlight. Like, you don't, you don't need consent. Oh, man, this is getting so lost. You could, you could, you could rape a, fle a fleshlight. Uh, concrete, do you think that the freedom of speech tends to make speech kind of cheap and make a lot of people sound like sheep? Yeah. See, Bart's was more like Alexi. Alexi. You know, I, yeah, I wouldn't. Wow. No, it's Alex. Alexi. Alexi. Your name is. You're, you're named after like glue and rocks. You're, it's it's Alexi, like galaxy. I have an epic phallus. See concrete. You're the dumbest name ever. Shut the fuck up. Yo, can you fail us? Uh, I'm not going to fail us. See? It's just a fallacy. Like, you're friending crazy people and, you know, sending them to different servers. I get it. It's not a let's see, it's a let's see. It's Alexi, like, listen, here's the deal, ready? It's possible because there are so many galaxies that don't use the word galaxy, right? That if I, if I finish my work correctly, other galaxies will say, no, no, dude, it's galaxy like Alexi. Like, they'll know me before they know what a galaxy is, even though they live in one. Shut up, concrete. Fucking asshole. Ooh, it's Mars. Mars. Hey, what's up? So, Is that the guy who's curious Mark Sparks? You want to trademark? Uh, yeah. Trademarks. Trademarks, Mike, is a is in competition for like our version of a Satoshi. It's possible. So is Bitchy though, and and Orbit Coin and Rabbit Coin and Mindscape. Version of Alexi. You want to trademark? I got a mark for sale. I'm a. You want to steam? I'm. I'm a trade Marxist, and you're far from the sharpest. You're more like a sharpie. Sorry, a sharpion. You're sharp for a peon. Jesus wrapped you home after you got drunk. Haha. That's real. wasn't drunk, asshole. was tired. And drunk. He was tired and drunk. Honestly, man. And it wasn't Jesus. I think, I won't say particularly Jesus. I'll say it was an angel. Yo, concrete, if I ever met a person, would you bend me the fuck over and put me in my placements? <laughs> Yo, I wish you had a strong father that you respected and you looked up to. And you wouldn't have to go through these fucking weird shits that you go through trying to figure out who you are. I don't even think he's gay but, at all. Since it's the case, you never had a positive, strong, respectable role model. Christian. You have to deal with this of yeah, say no. Tell him no. You could have said no, but you notice he didn't say no. That's pretty dishonest, man. That's the question like that. Just think that was dishonesty or just lamenting the fact that we have to deal with you as a human being in our vicinity? If we met a person, how would your feelings manifest, man? But we take it out on you. Or your gayness? Because your gayness is disgusting. I lowered that. Oh my god, here you go. What happened to this fucking room? Back, back up.
Thank you. What's up, Alexi? It's Alexi. What are you doing for a living, Alexi? Um, I just had lunch with my patron, who is also my father, who was born on the same day as me, and he pays me to do what I do, which is deal with pieces of shit like you. I love you, but okay. 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 they repair and sell electric motors and industrial equipment, and they sometimes make trains. Wait, why? Well, my older brother is the elder, and he's like he's he's probably as smart as you. So I I would never fit in. I would never fit into that business, right? Like he'd be tortured all the time by my genius and his above average status. You know what's so crazy? I wish you really were fucking high powered. I am so good. Good for you. Concrete. Concrete. Limerick and Morty. Shut the fuck up. Listen, um, if I went pure capitalist, right, you would be happy to get on your knees and suck on my cock until you oh, choke to death. You oh, would choke to death on my erection if you if I sold my shit for profits. Just because it's the internet does not mean every hu bye. I win. Fucking retard. Sorry, can we say retard? Hey, I just did. I mean, that's actually when I don't want concrete to leave. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I can't attack innocence. Like, concrete, give, like, every day, concrete will give you a reason to become, to go mad, like, mad hom homonym on him. Like, <sighs> Mars, what, what are you up to? You got a girlfriend yet? Man, get off the internet. Um, yeah, that's fair. Just write, record some fuck. you can put videos on the dating sites now. Just find some smart, hot chick to, like, make some love with. Like, get off of here, dude. It's over for us. You can still do it, man. You can be saved. I do need to get, um, uh, like, those funny business cards printed, though. Those would be nice. The, the dating cards? You should absolutely have personal cards. Okay. Any any man who's worth his fucking salt has a ha, carries cards with him, one for business, one for himself. Unless he's married, in which case he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, even then you could still have like fun cards or whatever, but just not for like dating, you know. If you had a wife. Like cards for humanity. Cards for the humanity. <laughs> I'm playing a little Pokemon Go with my uh, ten year olds. There's a lot of cool tech out there. Can you imagine him like he pulls out his card like here, like I'm married, but I will fuck this transvestite guinea pole. Was that everyone's here like that? Like a couple hours ago, or just like really an hour ago? Bart will say anything. Bart is bored out of his door. Hilarious. Bored out of his gorge. <laughs> so bored. I like Bart. I feel like Islamic space prog program could be like Bart's father, though, and like Bart's like the good version of ISP, sort of. <laughs> you know, funny like, right? said that. I like I saw it like. Daddy, like, ISD, and, like, baby, like, archaeology. <laughs> oh, God. That dude, Islamic made me learn how to, like, I don't know, he, he said so many fucked up things. Like, just, I, I had to learn to be careful, like, who I was around, if he was around. Like, ISP made me extra careful on the internet, because he'll say anything. And he'll scream anything, really. Q and nonsense type, type at, at shit. Least I, at, at least I is like kind of funny compared to like other people that are like serious about it. Yeah, he. I mean, he's horrible, but he's definitely more amusing than the average sheeple. Sure. I mean, it's it's still it's just a it's just a screaming sheeple though. He's not gonna do anything ever. Like he's just slightly more amusing and more likely to win a game of a musical chairs. 
I wouldn't want them around my kids, though. Like, I wouldn't even... I don't really want anyone actually hearing them. But if everyone's boring as fuck, fuck it. Like, I will not immediately... Like, I, he'll say some fucked up shit, and I'll get to vent like a motherfucker on him. Concrete lets me vent, but not on nearly the same level as fucking ISP. ISP, you can just shit on and be justified. You know, concrete, when I first met him, he was always green and yellow. So, like, he went offline for a while, and he came back. He was a little bit more refined. There's less green and yellow and more points with him, but... It's still, has a, it's still hard to have a conversation with this. But I, I like concrete. He's not the worst. In the right context, like, as a, as a bit player... He could be, he could be really funny, you know, if he, like, if, if I had 13 dudes together and he was the 13th guy, I wouldn't be that upset. I mean, if he was the first guy or the second guy or the fifth guy, I'd start to freak out, be like, we do not have enough original, meaningful content here. But if Concrete was number 13 in 13 Angry Men, he'd, he'd pull his weight. He's not a great. He's like rocks and, and glue stuck together. Terrible man, oh, Concrete, what's God, up? Why did they, why did they put up with you, bro? You're it's, fucking annoying. Oh, you, dude. You, you, <laughs> It's been right. done. It's been done for some time. Driving tax crazy, dude. This this energy is getting him excited. He's coming hard. He's gonna get e wrecked. Calm down, concrete. You're triggering Pax and about to have an orgasm. Right, Pax? Take a breath. Uh, you're disgusting. Hey, you don't have to say. That's the sad part about it. I'm sh I'm shamed. Am I shamed, soul? <laughs> dude, you have no idea what I just heard my dad say. My dad told me. I, no, but he actually told me today of some of some of the racist shit that they used to say back in the day, and he never told me that before. And I was kind of well, no, that no, that he that that his friends that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know that in 1955 he used the N word. Like I didn't know that. Like. They that people in what? I never heard my father say it before. He wasn't saying it like saying it, but he was telling me what was said, and I hadn't heard that before. And I wouldn't expect the only person. The only person I ever called the N word is Dio. Oh, poor baby. You're you're. Uh... Uh, so I guess because I guess because I'm black, I'm, I care about this dumbass story. Is that it? Um, no, you weren't even here. We were talking about you, actually, <laughs> when you were gone. So, so, you told me this dumb ass story about your dad and the N-word, and I guess what? You thought because I'm black, I care? Or something? Is that it, maybe? I mean, you're not the only person here, and it stemmed from something that came before, but just, that one board. Me the story? I thought you just told me the story. I would probably never consciously choose to talk with uh, you. Concrete, you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be the the worst that at least in time. You're gonna be the worst. You're sleepwalking. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. So I wake I wake up to suddenly discover that my father had said a word. Very good. Sleepwalking. I'm sleep. I'm sleep. I'm sleep. I'm sleep flying. I'm sleep flying. You card. You, this is the conch. Listen. Okay. You guys know. You guys know what the conch. Remember the conch. 
The conch. He's a conk. This is gonna be the bit for the next like five minutes. He's a conk retard. He's a conk. He's got the conk and he's a retard. Concrete tard. No, let him go. Let him go. Everybody just ignore. Everybody. Say, no, let him go. Let him go. Don't don't say anything. Let him exhaust himself. Mom. Don't laugh at him. Everybody mute. Everybody, everybody mute. Hold on. Let him wear himself out. Just everybody mute for a second and watch. He'll have nothing to say in 60 seconds. Watch. Everybody mute. Please. Are you awake? Let's see. Are you awake? Mars, mute. I just gave him a cup of coffee. I just gave him a cup of coffee. Like, like, if someone's going to be active on Discord, they should, you know, put themselves in. But a dumb, a dumb ass, the dumbass says, uh, would you talk to your father that way? And then he brings up a story that his father tells him. And then Concrete goes, do you believe he brought that story up about your father saying it? Because I'm black? Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Dumbass, it. You're the one who brought up the concept of talking to fathers in the first place. Was it by me? I'm sorry, it's right. So, get personal with people. Talk about personal with people, right? Specifically issues that have to do with uh, alleged, alleged homosexuality. Alleged. 